Isn't that pretty? Hey, this is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And what you're looking at is the latest version came out June 21st of SDR console, and it's controlling my SDR Play 1. And there's something really exciting for me is that before when I would run this program with my SDR Play 1, which has a bandwidth of 8 megahertz, it wouldn't run at 8 megahertz. And it even struggled at 4 megahertz, so I usually ran it at 2 megahertz. Well, now this new, new version is running with a bandwidth of 8 megahertz, and it doesn't seem to be having any problem at all. You look down here, the CPU usage is 5354. The GPU is 30%, and I've got this running, plus I have OBS screen capture software running at the same time. There are many, many enhancements in this version, which I need to look at. Um, it's This program is overwhelming. Simon, who writes this program, maintains it, does a terrific job. I mean, look at this decoder right here. It's telling you the the uh, the uh, station, uh, what the station motto, motto is, all kinds of information, and it and it depends really on the station of what information is provided. I was at one station a few minutes ago. Yeah, okay, thank you very much. Bye. Um, and it was showing in this box right here the uh, lyrics as the song was sung. Pretty cool. Um, and you can see around here we have a bunch of FM stations. A bunch. I'm even using a my G5 RV HF antenna to receive these stations right now. That's how many strong stations we have and this program is doing a fabulous job now i still have one problem on my other computer which is uh as a, which is a older lenovo and that has the option that you can use an internal speaker for audio well this program still does not I still don't know how I can tell it not to use an internal speaker because the audio level is much much lower on that speaker and it's the quality is not that good I can't figure out how to tell this program use the external speaker all the other programs I use uh, including programs for controlling this SDR use the in internal speaker I don't know how to fix that problem I've asked and I've gotten no feedback, no solution to do that. So I moved over to this computer, which the audio works fine. Uh, I'm going to be looking more at this. The, the, the one other drawback of this program, there's not real good documentation. I mean, there's a bazillion functions, but they don't tell you how to use them. And so it's kind of trial and error. There is a um, users group. Um, I think it's one. There's one on Google and maybe one on Yahoo, um, but there's not really a detailed manual. Now there are some manuals, but they're they don't go into a lot of detail. I mean, there is this, like I say, there's so many options to this program. It is unbelievable. And right now, I've got the bandwidth. Uh, set to 8 megahertz, which is the capability of this SDR Play 1. I don't know if I dare try 10, uh, but before it would only use, it would only work at like 2 megahertz, and if I went above that too much, it would the program would be choppy and the audio would be choppy. And that's not the case now, and I have. Have plenty of CPU power left, according to this down here. I'm just totally blown away. 
Again, I just scratched the surface of how to use this program. I've, I've showed you a couple of functions, like the record function and a couple other things. I will delve more into this now that it works much better with my SDR Play 1. Anyway, if you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Bye-bye.